Hello, some random details and some language explanation about how a version control system works. Please keep in mind all these words are just new words that you might have never heard before, but they basically describe a very simple concept if you first understood what the concept is about. Okay, let's get started. Um, first, we should share that there are basically two major use cases that differ from each other. You have use case number one, where this is your computer and this is you. And you might want to have some files versioned like this. You just you, you have this file, maybe your bachelor thesis, and you want to give it some version numbers just to be sure that you can always go back in history, right? You can always go, let's say this is the history. You can always go back in history within this folder, for example, right? And no one else except of you is going to access these files. No one else except of you is going to change these files, right? That's a very, very simple use case. And there's another use case that's, uh, I'm, I think it's like a distributed, I don't know, nobody cares. Um, the main major difference is that now you have many people maybe, maybe accessing your files and many people changing files, right? right? You have, maybe, maybe you have two files and well, this, this guy here wants to change this file, this guy here wants to change this file and well, uh, you actually uh, want to change both files at the same time when right? everything's happening at the same time you have to like handle this like in in regard of versions and something right and this is the the use case that most people are in this is a very rare use case i guess this is what you need for maybe for your university for your open source project for your work so we're going to majorly focus on this one okay let's move this a little bit to the side okay so how does the version control system work in this case right you have a server and the server contains, let's make it a little bit simpler, your server contains a couple of files. Let's say your server contains four files. You want to have four files in your project, maybe with your friends in your project for files, file A, B, C, D. An important thing is that this is your server, right? And then you have you and your friends. No, this is not you or your friends. This is the computer of you and your friends or your friends. Let's say this in the bottom is you, like this. Okay, and every one of your friends has a computer, right? And every one of your friends has a computer that's connected to the internet and via the internet is connected to this server. Um, recently, this is often GitHub or GitLab, but this no, does not need to be GitHub, GitLab. That's completely irrelevant. irrelevant. What a difficult word. And what's gonna happen when you, when what happens when you wanna use these things is that you're gonna, you're going to make a copy of all of this and put it on your local computer. Let's make a copy. So let's say that's Mr. X and this, or Miss X, Miss Y, and that's you. And also Miss Y is making a local copy of this thing that's on the server. And you are also making a local copy of this thing that's on the server. You see, everyone has file A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And let's say, for example, uh, Miss X here uh, chooses to, oh, that's an unfortunate color. Let's choose this one. It's even more unfortunate. Does pink work? Yes, pink works. So Miss X chooses to change file A while Miss Y chooses to change file D. And after they made the changes, see that this is local, right? This is maybe let's write here internet, right? This is your, this is the server. This is the server with all your files, right? The version control system server. And this stuff is all local. That means that if they made a change here, then this is not going to be on the server, right? It kind of needs to be synchronized with the server. So for example, Miss X decides to, syn decides to synchronize this version of file A with the server. And what's happening is that the server will update file A. And as you can see, because no one else touched file A in any way, there is no like, let's call it a conflict of like versions. Like for example, if I would also make changes in file A, then the question is which one is the correct file, right? Is this the newer file? Is this the newer file? Like we have to like somehow like integrate these files into each other, but this is not happening at the moment because no one else touched file A. And so everything is fine. And Miss Y also does the same, also synchronizes with the server and puts their file here. Also, there are no conflicts, everything is all right, no one else touched the file, everything is fine. But here's another important thing, that you can see that the version of you 
the version that you locally have is not the version that they had. So you're not like up to date, right? You have to synchronize with the server to get the same versions to get like the update that they did. And after you did this, you have the most latest version of all the files. Okay. I hope this is clear so far. I hope you could follow. Let's give all these things names. Okay. This is where all your files are located or like it doesn't matter local or remote. This is remote. The server in the internet on the internet is remote. This is the repository. This is called a repository. And this thing here that's local is also called a repository. This is also called the remote repository. This could also be called the local repository to make sure to know that this is what is on your machine and this is what is not on your machine remote. Sometimes in, for example, Git, this is also called maybe the ori origin. This makes sense if you understand how Git works, but for now, we don't need to understand this because this is a beginning video. So this is the remote repository. That's the one that's not local on your computer. And just to emphasize these actions, let's say you have a new friend and they also have a computer and they also want to have this thing, right? They also want to copy all these files, right? What they do is they, just to emphasize this now, they want to copy all these files that are on the server, okay? And this copying process, let's, I don't know, let's make it this way. This copying process is often called to clone. Kind of looked like a D. So it should be a clone, right? The clone action is the action of copying, of the initial copying of the stuff that's on the server to your local machine, to your local computer. And now this person also has all the files and also has all the files in the latest version. So clone basically, basically means copy of the initial version. Then I talked about that this person is making a change and wants to synchronize back to the server. They want to synchronize back to the server. This involves something that is called a commit. Unfortunately, in what I explained so far, commit is not really clear. So let's forget this for a second again. But he like puts it back to the server, right? He pushes it back to the server, right? And this is called a push, a push action, which is basically a synchronization where your local stuff goes onto the server. Also, Miss Y did also a synchronization. So Miss Y also pushed to the server. She pushed to the server, which is also basically just a synchronization process. And then I hope you remember that, that after they synchronize their stuff, after they push their stuff to the server, you, or let's say I needed to update my stuff. You needed to update your stuff. You didn't have the latest version, right? So what you did is you again copied the stuff from the server, but this time you didn't do a clone because a clone is just the initial thing. Copy, let's call it initial, right? Initial copy of this thing, right? What you did is a pull action. I'm calling it pull because in Git, the pull action does exactly that. It takes all the changes and integrates them into what you have. I hope people who know Git don't get angry at me at this point. And also it's very easy to remember that because you push to the server and you pull from the server. Okay. And let's next, we want to talk about what is a so-called merge, which is just integrating files, but let's, let's make it clear, right? Let's say, uh, your friend over here, which is called friend W. Your friend over here, Mr. W, decided to change file B, right? And at the same time, I also decided to change, or you, you, sorry, you decided to also change file B. And then maybe your friend, Mr. W, pushes it back to the server, synchronizes it to the, uh, synchronizes it to the server. So now this is the version of W, Mr. W, and maybe this is an unfortunate color. Maybe my changes, your, sorry, your changes are in this bright greenish color. And now you also want to push to the server, but the problem is that the server has a different version, right? 
you had the blue version. You had the blue version of file B and made it green, right? While he had a blue version and made it red, right? The current version is version red. And maybe maybe they conflict, right? Maybe let's say this is file B. Let's say this is file B. And the initial version was A, B, C, D, E. That was the initial version that was initially on the server. And then Mr. W changed it and said, well, this is not supposed to be A, B, C, D, E. This is supposed to be A, B, C, D, B, right? So Mr. W changed the last letter. But what I'm doing here with the green version, maybe, well, let's make it more clear. Let's say A, B, C, D, B. That's the new red version. And at the same time, I changed it to B, 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 B. What happened is that I changed A to B, B to B, C to B, D to B, this would be by the way, and E to B, right? I changed every letter to a B, while the red version only changed the last red letter to a B. So there's like a different, when I try to push this green stuff back to the server, it will conflict because at least in this point, I say, well, there was an E and I changed it to a B, but if, you, if the machine, if the computer tries to figure out where was the E, it doesn't know because currently it's a B, right? So the B changed to a B in this case, right? But I hope you understand that there's like simply a conflict. It's so simple, I can't even explain it in this video. But what needs to happen is that these things needs to need to integrate. So if I push this to the server, somehow I need to like, I need to integrate my changes and their changes together in one file so it can be stored in this one file. And this is where a merge happens. But the merge happens actually not to make this a little bit more clear. No, we don't need this one. Actually, what happens when I make a push is that I get an error. Error. What I actually need to do is I need to pull again. I need to pull the red version. I need to pull again the red version. And then locally, I have to merge this stuff. So I have to tell the computer, okay, um, the red version was A, B, C, D, B. My version is B, 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 B. And the previous version was A, B, C, D, E. Which is the correct combination of letters, right? Which is the correct version? Maybe maybe it's mine, like the, the, the most latest version. Is this the correct version? Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe only this is, let's say, I don't know. I don't know, hell, I'm so confused. Let's say, uh, let's say this is the correct version, right? So, and I need to decide this locally on my machine and then I will create like a different version, a slighter different version. Yeah, let's make it blue. Let's make it in this, um, wait a minute, let's make it, uh, no colors left, dude. Okay, let's make it in this purpley thing here. Hope you can still follow. So after we said, okay, this is now the latest version. Now I have the latest version and this latest version I can push to the server. I can push to the server because this version of mine is based on the red version, right? So it's no problem integrating that. So the new version becomes this, I think it's very hard to see this purple version, right? And again, everyone else does not have the current version. So what they need to do is they need to pull their versions from the repository, from the remote repository. They need to pull it. Well, let's make an arrow on the, there. And also he has to pull it and like overwrite their files. Okay, I guess this is already more than enough for this video. See you in the next one.